guys the all father with our next war recap here and it wasn't even close 37 to 20 we outscored them on three star attacks eight to one so not a lot of competition uh you see our enemy team they had won 80 wars level six clan so thought maybe they might put up a fight but didn't even use half of their attacks so just goes to show you it's really hard to judge a clan by its cover until they get into the war and you see what they're made out of and uh, luckily for us, we kind of approach everything the same no matter who we're going against, and it tends to work out in our favor. So take a look at some of the key attacks of the war. And with this one, we had two Town Hall 10s at the top, so by far this is the uh, highest level of competition defensively. We might have seen two Town Hall 10s one other time. And uh, so pretty high level here. So we will show the two-star attack against uh, the number two base. This happens to have been my attack, uh, follow-up attack after two others. And so we knew a few things about it. We knew uh, that the giant, where three giant bombs were, so went ahead and uh, brought the hog attack or a go we ho attack uh, because of the fact that those single-targeting inferno towers are going to tear through uh, golems and, and high hit point targets pretty quickly. And so uh, with the single target infernos, the idea is to try to overwhelm them with witch skeletons or hogs or something where they have to target a bunch of different troops all at once. And that kind of helps counteract the single target inferno. Uh, the opposite would be a multi-target inferno where you would want to send a lot of tr uh, high hit point troops like golems or lava hounds or whatever. Uh, because they can, they'll split the beams on all five of them but not deal a lot of damage to all of them. So uh, drops the golem there and breaks into the queen chamber. King goes ahead and takes out the queen and backed up by wizards and witches after the clan castle kill, and then just dropped uh, about 26 hogs, I think it was, and just trying to keep them alive. You look at that uh, damage in the core there, all the Teslas, all of the Expos, uh, and just a ton of defensive power in the middle there. You see that queen is working around the edge. The golem is beating on a wall. So at this point, it's not looking great. The hogs are making their way through some of the defenses, but they kind of filter out and uh, lose some steam right there at the end. There's still two expos up in the middle. They start targeting the queen. It's not looking good, but that golem finally redirects and tries to go towards them. By activating the queen's royal cloak ability, the uh, defenses all switch targets and start firing on the golem giving the queen free reign, not taking any hits to take out and finish the town hall. At that point, it's already 61%, and there's just a matter of uh, how many more hit points we can get. Uh, wizards take out a couple buildings on the other side there. Queen is able to take out a few more defenses while her uh, battalion of archers that's with her is distracting. And she ends up taking out quite a few more buildings there at level 15, uh, for a total of 67% and a 2-star. So against Town Hall 10, not terrible. Uh, that's uh, for a Town Hall 9 hitting up to a Town Hall 10. 2-star is a pretty good result there. So um, we'll continue on and look at this attack by Dead Wizard on the bottom Town Hall 9 base. As you can see, it's not very developed. Expos are pointed down and level uh, 6665 on the ADs. So definitely a prime candidate for an air attack due to Expos down, low level queen, and uh, low level air defenses. So gonna bring the Quattro Lava Lunion, and a couple things you just gotta deal with with that is you gotta try to deal with the queen and the clan castle. Those are the two biggest things. So drops a giant and a hog there to get the lure and get the queen outside of the walls where she will start targeting the king. As soon as she does, he's going to go there, bop around the head a couple times, boom, she's dead. Uh, but that king will go down quickly, obviously, to the balloon and dragon because they're not going to, he's not going to be able to target them. So uh, he did his job, the lure's done, the queen's dead. Uh, from there, it's just a matter of getting the Quattro La Balloon, drag the dragon to the corner. Uh, Clan Castle dragons and minions take him out. Meanwhile, you see the light quake there. Just trying to spread some distance between the air defenses because what you don't want is multiple air defenses targeting multiple lava hounds at the same time. So uh, drops the four hounds there followed by some targeted loons around the corner in a little horseshoe pattern. 
and uh, just waiting to see some action with the hounds busting before we put the rage spells down. So you see there, one hound busts, gets that rage spell in there, one hound busts on the other side, but the loons are already making their way into there. That third AD is down now, and there's still two hounds left at pretty decent amount of health. And there one busts with a seeking air mine, and so there's still one left full health, and he's just absorbing all of the attention of those defenses while the loons work their way around. The busted pups are backing everything up, doing cleanup already. And then right as that last hound's about to burst, that rage spell gets in there. Gets the loons to drop the last air defense. Dragon's under a rage spell helping to take out the final uh, archer towers and other things that can target air defense or air troops. And just that last little lonely whiz tower left. And you can see there's just a ton of balloons left. From there, it's just a matter of cleanup. We'll four exit to the end. And you can see there's just more than enough to get through that base. So when those low level air defenses and expos down, those kind of things, uh, definitely want to take a look at those uh, air attacks, Quattro Lava Loon, Pentaloon, those kind of things. Moving on, we'll take a look at uh, this three star hog attack by Chaz. Goes ahead and drops that hog there, gets a lure and a giant bomb, so great value for that. And uh, typical dragon and loon in the clan castle drops the giant and the wizards. Uh, definitely seems to be a really good option there versus trying to figure out the barb walk sometimes. Uh, if you're going to use five barbs, why not just use one giant? So I uh, like that approach. He does come in the opposite side with his hogs, which isn't usually ideal, but he's got eight wizards left, so it's not going to be a problem. And he heals the one giant. Bomb spot pre heals, heals the second one. So all three giant bombs are now tripped and have been pre healed. Still has clan castle hogs in his bag there and goes ahead and drops that skelly or the poison just a little early because the hogs have are pretty fast and they haven't slowed down. Right about here would be a good time as they're approaching the last couple defenses and you know they're not going to go taken off anywhere. That's where you want to drop that poison spell. I'll take the skellies out. But at that point, uh, all the defenses were down and the hogs turned on the skellies and took them out. But uh, I know there were some comments about, you know, not being able to use a poison on the skellies because they just move around too much. Uh, that's how you get around that. You wait till they're going to be in a dense pocket of defenses or in the last couple of defenses where the hogs are going to kind of stall out and stop and, and they're not going to try to move on to another defensive building. They're just going to go to the closest building. So there's your little pointer on poison spells for ground skellies and hog attack for the day. Again, here we have another uh, hog attack. Goes ahead and drops a giant lure here, and uh, as you can see, that Tesla giant bomb combination, uh, you're going to see that in three different locations. Uh, because of the way this base is set up, you can tell that that's just going to be a symmetrical uh, location for all of the bombs and Teslas, so that's pretty easy to sniff out the rest of the attack from there. Again, uses that same combination of giants and wizards. Just very effective, and doesn't take much thought to it. It doesn't tend to have that risk of failing uh, goes ahead and drops those heels knowing that there's going to be a lot of uh, things going on in the core and that those Teslas and giant bombs are going to be in the same locations as they were on the other buildings um, and there they do get hit by that giant bomb but at that point all the defenses are gone and it's all academic from there there's a ton of hogs left and a good six seven wizards and the barbarian king at full health so he's going to be able to take care of all that and they go into cleanup mode. All the dangers have been tripped as far as giant bombs and Teslas and flip traps. And so a uh, piece of cake to go ahead and finish off that raid. So that's that's not a good base design at Town Hall 8. Um, I don't know what it's designed to deter. Um, but it's certainly, when you see that base design, it's it, Hogs is going to take it every single time. Moving on down here. Uh, baseball boss attack against number 11. And he's bringing the Dragoon with the Light Quake. So um, notice there's max ADs there. But he's going to go ahead and drop his two lightning spells on his Quake. And he's already gotten it down to two air defenses. And in addition to that, he's coming at the side so that the air sweeper is not going to be going right in their face. They're going to kind of broadside it and come uh, right up to the side of it. Rage spell may be just a little bit 
inside the walls, but it goes ahead and works. It's leading them right up to the edge of the air defenses. Unfortunately, the loons kind of get tangled up with the clan castle dragon, but uh, they do get in there and do their job, which is to take out that last air defense. And so with all three air defenses gone, those dragons are going to take out the clan castle dragon, and he's going to have about six dragons still with no air defenses to clean up. Good job on that back side there using your BK to tank the archer tower and the whiz tower. Uh, he provides just a little bit of cover, even if it's just for a few seconds. It just keeps the fire off of the dragons for those few seconds. Uh, that might save one dragon uh, from going down, and that could be the difference between a two- and a three-star attack. So good job not wasting that BK on the front side. You save him for the back, and he just provides a little bit of tank and cover for your troops. Uh, just one archer tower left. Does only have two dragons left at the end of it, but that's kind of typical. Um, but when you're talking about max AD bases, um, you know, getting by with any dragons left is, is a success because the success rate before the update was probably less than 15%. And now you're probably looking, you know, maybe a 50, 50 shot of taking max ADs with the light quake. So good job there. Baseball boss. And the last one we're going to take a look at here is kind of a unique attack by Darth. Uh, it's a drag hoe attack, something we don't really see, um, but you could take a look at this base and you could say that you could do dragons and kind of split those air defenses, or you could do all hogs. Um, but what he does is he realizes that it's good for hog pathing and also good for dragons, so he's just going to kind of do a hybrid attack using both of them. And takes the lure there, gets the troops pulled out to a safe edge there. And kind of barb walking them out to where he wants them. And there goes your light quake. You see he goes ahead and takes kind of the most buried one or the one that's going to be most difficult to get hogs to because it's uh, pound, uh, located right in between those wizard towers. So that would be the hardest thing for hogs to deal with. Um, but he goes ahead and drops his hogs over there. Single hog to scout for any bomb possibilities. Followed by... Uh, about 10 other ones. Heal spell there. They get the one air defense. They get the second air defense. That's all they really had to do. But they also get uh, an archer tower down there and several other defenses and buildings out of the way for the dragons. Uh, they do go down there, but, but at that point they've taken out so many buildings that with five dragons left, uh, he's going to be able to get through the rest of the space really quickly. And definitely an overpower attack. Again, max air defenses, but... Uh, because of kind of a poor base setup and a good choice on uh, army composition, he rolled over that base with ease. And that is our last offensive attack that we're going to show for this war recap. But what is a war recap without a biggest fail? And this time we're going to switch it up a little bit. And the biggest fail is actually going to be on defense, believe it or not. A clan that only attacks 14 times for 20 stars. Uh, if your base gets three starred, uh, you're in the minority. If you look at all these attacks, they couldn't even three star a bottom base or at least didn't try to. Uh, but they did three star one. And so the winner of the biggest fail attack is actually Nico. And he is bringing this uh, internet base design in. And it's kind of one of those anti-ground game things. Uh, but actually you see a ground attack works really well here. And he actually gets giant wizarded for a three star. And honestly, I have not seen a giant wizard attack even really attempted, at least not a legitimate one, at Town Hall 9 in since I can remember, much less one that three starred. Um, but you see he just brings a ton of giants here. I can't remember how many he started with. I want to say it was like 32 giants or something. And wall breakers and heal spells and wizards, and that's all he did. He didn't even have his queen. I'm not sure if he didn't have a queen or she was being upgraded, but regardless, she, did, she wasn't there. Didn't even have a queen, didn't even need her. So this was a Town Hall 9 attacking a Town Hall 9 with the giant wizard attack and no queen and three starring it. So uh, definitely when that happens to you, it's probably time to look for a new base design. No, not probably. It's definitely time to look for a new base design. And Nico knows that and he's going to bring a super awesome base design uh, for the next war, but uh, not necessarily his fault other than copying a 
terrible internet base. I uh, just saw this base in the Annihilated War as well. Uh, so that's how I know this is definitely a, a stock internet base, but obviously not one that's very well suited for defending against TH9. So uh, definitely want to look at something different, but there it is. The winner of your biggest fail is the defense by Nico. So that is it for this recap. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and uh, share it with everybody you know. And we will see you next time.